All right. Oh my. God. Hey, how is it going, ladies and gentlemen? We're back. Another video here, part two of the three-part series. We're about to get this first. Oh, look at that. All right. So today, as you recorded. What? This may or may not be our second time recording this. Can't We've divulge some technical difficulties here, guys. But um, <laughs> so we have, as you noticed by the title, it is a part two hut ideas wish list for NHL 17. Yeah. We got, a, we got a few doozies for you guys. So if you uh, if you're ready to go, hit that like button. All right. So the first out of the many changes that we would like to bring to NHL 17 hockey open team is comes what. Here it comes. Get up! Oh. <laughs> Customization that we saw in the trailer. If you haven't seen the Vision trailer yet for NHL 17, it's amazing. Go look at it. Basically, we would like to see all of the uh, jersey customization, maybe logo. I don't know if they have that. Just jersey customization and the arena and the arena customization that they have. We'd love to see that brought into HUD. So, like, things like... Um, you know, you start off, I don't know if you guys saw the trailer, but you can start off in like a smaller rink. Maybe you do one of those, and then the more and more games you win, the more and more fans you get. Something like that. Or the custom logos. Kind of like in um, 2K. Give me this. Oh. Kind of like in uh, 2K. Uh, they give something like that. Oh, my God. So, I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, 2K16 at all, but um, there's a thing where it's about collection cards you make. I don't know if you can make it on collection cards. That's kind of... Ridiculous. I don't like that idea, but if they can make it by games one or something like that. So you basically what 2K does is if you have 50 collection cards. Oh my god. If you have 50 collection cards. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like the 2K idea. Yeah. Because if you if you you have to pretty much find ways to get as many cards as possible, yeah. which I don't think really helps you with the game. I think if you like, it'll give you an incentive to play the game if if it's like once you finish 15 games yeah. you can. So if I'm familiar with the 2K thing, it's 50 cards you get, I'm pretty sure it's custom logo. 75 cards, it's custom jerseys. And then yeah, uh, like arena. Custom, and 100 cards, it's custom arena. Yeah. So basically what we're saying is we would like it more as like a game, maybe like you win a certain amount of games or you rank up. Like what I like to see is just like a ranking kind of system for HUT. Like I want to see, I know this is kind of weird, but like you know how FIFA has, FIFA and MLB the show, they have... Um, Rent, like a rank for your whole game, and then they have like a shop within that rank, so you can buy like hut boosts for coins per game or something like that, or maybe you can buy sticks for yeah SHL or something like that. I mean, we're kind of getting off topic with that, but like that'd be kind of something yeah. like just add playability to like hut, and then just yeah, if there's like a ranking system, no matter what, it's gonna give you an incentive to play the game it, unless it it's what it currently is and it's a ranking system but you don't accomplish anything with it it doesn't mean anything like i could be a prestige four like level three and i get it's just bragging rights like that's yeah. all that we're getting a little off topic here with that that's our last video yeah. if you haven't seen it yet yeah all right well what were you got a uh, something you want to say all right so um also kind of relating back to other franchises which i think is the best way to kind of analyze this oh. these yeah, and it kind of gives you a, a better look into what's realistic and what could possibly happen. So if you look at um, Madden, they have, um, I'm not sure how new it is, but they have draft champions now. It's new this year. Yeah, new this year. It, and that thing is so fun. So if you're, if you're not familiar, it's just you spend, um, you don't spend anything. Well, you it's, can if you want to get into a rank. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I made. Oh, oh I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. All right. Okay, so, all right. okay. Basically, yeah. Um, you can. Basically, what you can do if you want to play ranked for like packs and stuff like that. I have no stick. Um, if you can play ranked or anything like that, uh, you have, you spend like I think 15k to get into it. But if you just want to play unranked for fun, just to get the new cards and stuff, it's um completely free. Yeah. So what I was saying is like, um, okay, I can focus a little bit more. Now the, the period. Unedited. Unedited. You know, okay. you know, we're going straight yeah. through. So, so you get this, um, there's pretty much all these rounds. There's 15 rounds or something, I think. In each round, there's three cards that it shows you, and it's almost like a mini pack opening in every round. And it, there's a random three cards, and these 
cards can be anything from like a low level gold player all the way up to a 99 in Madden Elite, but it would be a team of the week or something in Hut. And so you can basically, you pick, you basically pick a player from every page and formulate a team with those those players. So I think that'd be a really cool idea to bring that in Hut, and then it kind of gives you a way to, you know, like play with the better players without having to pour like hundreds of dollars into the game. True. On like the sixty dollars that you're already yes. spending. I completely agree. Yeah. Okay, so what I was my my next topic here is if you uh, haven't seen the trailer yet, you gotta go see it. I'll probably link it. But um, if uh yes, you gotta you gotta get it. Post it. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sucks. Anyway, um, so Madden has so basically what they found in the trailer was two things. Dang, I, I was focused, trying to focus there. Uh, basically, what they found in the trailer is uh, they have a kind of a quick glimpse of Hockey Ultimate Team. And it was, oh my god, it was, <laughs> it was, one, well the first thing was, it's kind of minor, I mean I don't really know if you guys might like this, but uh, it was coins and the next to it, it looked like they had like NHL, oh, it looked like they had NHL, um, like points for example, so those things can be used for, maybe maybe they'll bring in like bundle packs, so I mean, I don't know if you're into spending money and stuff, but they'll bring in like bundle packs and stuff like that. Um, you can get into draft champions games if that's that's what people are saying that that might be brought in because of those points too. But that's yeah. that's neither here nor there. But what we were my idea was um, not really my idea. I would like them to make hockey ultimate team more like Madden ultimate team in the sense that you have sets per. So let's say you have ten gold trophies. You turn those trophies in, you can maybe get ten k. And then there's some trophies where, oh my god, there's some trophies that you can get where it's based on, um, let's say I get, I finish, like, so there's solo challenges you can do. You can get collectibles from the solo challenges, and every solo challenge you complete, you can get coins. So from the solo challenges, you can get collectibles, and then those collectibles can go towards bigger and better players without having, there's a, there's a part of the game where you can basically put more time into it and try, you can, it's, actually attainable to get those good players instead of just hoping to get them in like a 17k pack which is not going to get you anything yeah so um and so i think and i think if you um also in madden i'm not sure if you just said this but there's they have the challenges that we're talking yeah. about yeah so the the um yeah it get, you can like easily get coins and it's a lot quicker than having to go in and play a full 15 20 minute game every time they, they're just kind of like mini games almost did that count what okay good oh i didn't think that was a penalty i was yeah. like what <laughs> um but yeah and it's also another like it kind of keeps the game fresh and in madden 2 they uh yeah, oh, they're every con week they're constantly they, updating those things too yeah every week they have new challenges like yeah. weekly challenges and it's all it's always it's oh what a freaking play that's in that's in oh Tuck in it! There we go. Yes. <laughs> oh, he just smacked you with that stick. Also, there's, um... What I like about it, too, is the way they do their challenges, it's based with, like, the real NFL. So it's... It keeps you up to date. Like, so let's say, like, you're really big into watching hockey. Let's say the Hurricanes, right? Hurricanes just scored... Let's say the Hurricanes were down two goals, minute left, they came back and tied it one overtime. Challenge could be you have a minute left in the game, score two goals, can you repeat what the Hurricanes did? Something like that. It doesn't have to be so exactly... It's like but. NHL moments live, but not totally first of all they up, update it yeah and nhl Mo moments live live i think you just get like a couple of coins you get like, or something. You get like a thousand if you complete it on superstar which is kind of ridiculous it's if like you... 750 or something yeah, like, like that some of the challenges are ridiculous to do in this yeah time. and like you'll spend and that's saying like you get it on the first time sometimes it'll take you like maybe an hour or so yeah. to get that so then you're better off playing the game, so why not just play, like, an actual game where yeah, you get, like, a thousand every time? Yeah, and plus you get, but, and like, Madden, it progressively gets, like, it's a challenge. Like, there's challenges where it's, like, you have the ball in 20, 10 seconds left, go score. Like, there could yeah. be a thing, like, could be, they could make, oh, fuck, ow! They could, I just thought of an idea, they can implement maybe, like, a drill kind of game mode where it's, like, win 10 face-offs in, oh, or it's, like, win 10 face-offs in, like, uh... Like win ten face offs out of fifteen. Or yeah, we're like, like win that. ten out of ten face offs, or there's target practice. Hit yeah. Hit ten out of ten targets, or something like that, or yeah, speed like skate in, around in the rink in a certain amount of time. Yeah, it, that's more. No, I guess that that could be hot. Yeah, so you just like 
and you do it with your team and stuff like that. Yeah, like it, you can like play all your player. Like you can just, there's so many ideas that you can actually. Or by the way, keep on watching. Wait a second, watch the cross piece. That's what they're trying to do. But um, right. there's so many ideas that they can incorporate, like cut, like players, like just so many ideas that they can kind of not really steal, but improve on from other yeah. games. Yeah, and, and I mean it's EA too. It's all EA. Yeah, it's not like they're like stealing from like 2K. They, they, yeah. They can. Um, but also one more thing from. Madden, uh, I don't like the, the NHL contract system. Is just kind oh, of yes. tedious. It's like you have to every time, and it almost happens every game because you have like what twelve plus you have like twenty players with like, and every time you add contracts to them, they're bound to expire. And if you add them at like different times, it could be that that like every game or every two games you're gonna have to. Add a new contract, yes, which is just cost so and, many coins in the end. You're not, yeah, you're not getting coins and to players. Contracts can end up costing like 500 coins or something for a gold contract that'll last you 13 games. Yeah, but in in Madden system, it kind of says like, so you can you buy contracts through the game. It's not like based off of the market. It's um. Madden sets those prices. Yeah, so Madden so will be like coins for like 200 yeah, you, contracts. Right? You I don't spend, know what that cost yeah. Exactly, and um, and then you you just apply those contracts to everyone, and it takes you two minutes instead of having yeah. to go all the way to a new screen and finding a contract, finding the cheapest contract, applying it to your player, like, and if you have to do it for multiple people, it takes you even longer. It's, it's inefficient. Yeah. Plus, if they're gonna so if they're gonna do that, exactly. to make the menus faster. Oh yeah. There we go. <sighs> and maybe not exactly the Madden system, but just like an updated contract system, yeah. I think. Their need yes. for. All right, that was good. So our next, to oh my God! So our next topic is what I would like. Jesus, what I would like to see would be new legends. Yeah. So what we were talking about is how, in God's name, is freaking what's his face, um, Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky and Ron Francis number one and two on the point list in the in the entire league in the league's history. They're not in the game. I'm pretty sure I haven't looked, but I'm nine, yeah, Mario Lemieux was not in uh, NHL 16 either. He was in 15. It's like just what I think would be nice. I think maybe one or two legends per team, modern like modern esque. I think I think one is a good start. Like yeah. if there is there is definitely at least one person per team. But yeah, you like, could probably do. It doesn't have yeah. to be like completely like 1980, but it could be like maybe 2000. They were good. 2005 or something like that. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. Like, you know, I just thought of one. Kind of cool if you were, like, a Keep Ducks fan, if you had, like, Paul Correa. Yeah. Something like that. Like, like, I know we're talking about Madden again, but Madden has, um, it's, like, two legends per, like, weekend. So people look forward to, like, I don't know if it's per weekend, but it's a, something like that. It's, like, two legends per weekend where people look forward to trying to, like, do those back to solo challenges. They can do solo challenges to get collectibles to work towards the new legends, or they can open up packs of to the heart's desire. Yeah. But um, I would love to see, like, an updated contract system. Yeah, just, and and yeah. Um, back to I'm not sure if you mentioned like sets and stuff. I think it's kind of confirmed for yeah, yeah, NHL yeah. 17. Um, there are like coach trade-ins. Yeah, pretty much. Like you only really need one coach. So if you get like, all these coaches and packs and stuff, um, you can like trade them in and get coins back for yes. them, or like maybe another pack. We, I, we're not. Like, I miss sure, yeah. I miss the sets back in NHL 14 where you got coins. If they're gonna yeah. make, if they're gonna make the packs, they can do they can do packs if they want, but make them tradable. Yeah. yeah. There's no point. It's just you're losing money. If or you're give you it. give you something like rare, like a yeah. good like a a guaranteed team of the week player that's not yeah, tradable. Like you, if you, you if it has money, to be not tradable. Contract or yeah. contract collections. Yeah, you're only and there's like a very slim chance that you're ever yeah. gonna get a team of the week. And um. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about would be like an update to like, oh yes, we all, um, an update to like the, like the searching for players. So essentially, like, oh will, oh, um, so essentially it'd be like, I'm, I don't like, I don't think, like, just if you're a casual fan, if you're not really into hockey that much, you don't really follow the league. I don't really think in order to search for like, an Eric Stahl, you have to know that he plays for the Rangers, that he's a center, that he is this type of player that he goes that you want to have him look from that much i think you just type in eri and then just say eric stall yeah and then you click on his name and then all the eric stalls in the market come up oh will will 
Alright, that's fine. Yeah, yeah because you, you end up having to... If you do find the player... So you, you look you look by their team, you find the player, and then you find their... Like, what if there's two players on a team that are Canadian? Yeah, it's so and, annoying. And when playmaker. Yeah, that's like, the let worst. me just search their name, and then have every one of them in the market come up. Yeah, that's the most annoying and, thing. When yeah, you, like have you, to, like, you have to, like, you're scrolling through prices, teams. like, only looking at prices. Oh, yeah, and, oh, yeah, never mind. Change teams, too. Why yeah. Why can't I just type in change team Carolina or something like that, and then it comes up? Because if you're trying to get your chemistry up, oh. if you're trying to get your chemistry up, it takes you, like, a really good amount of time to go... You have to search for 20, in, 22 change teams. Yeah. Also, I'm going to say something, folks, up here. Also, uh... Hang on, let me focus this here. Oh! Oh! Good it! Oh! oh. <laughs> Alright, so also what I would like to see is instead of captains and alternate captain cards, why can't we just, like, in, like what we said in our EISHL video, why can't we just assign captains again? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, why can't we just assign captains, like, just going to the settings? It doesn't have to be a thing that's, like, a boost. And I don't, I don't think boosts are completely yeah. necessary. I don't. I think they're kind of unfair, too. You can make any player you want, like a... Decent. Uh, yeah, amazing. at least decent, if crap, not, crap, like... Crap, crap, crap. 98 overall. Oh. <laughs> well. Well, we may have just cost ourselves a promotion, but, you, you know... know what? It doesn't matter. It's we're out here. You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so... Are you kidding me, man? How the... I'm not even gonna go into that. <laughs> how do you how do you not save that? That was right at you. But we go on like I'm not never mind. Um, you know what? Ow, oh, you suck! Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I mean, also there's one quick thing really fast. Something to add a little more playability at the end of the game's life, like it'll be some kind of tournament or anything at the end of the like, towards playoff time, like maybe like a real life playoff. Where you play four games against the same opponent, like we had our idea for EASHL. Four games against the same opponent, something like that. Make just make it more playable when the game's life cycle is over. Yeah. All right. Tough one. You know who cares? We're talking about ideas here. We don't care about the <laughs> W. We're talking about ideas for the next year's game. It's gonna be amazing. You know what? So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Will I'm gonna let you finish them out. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's kind of a, whatever. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button too. Check out all of our amazing new content. We're, we're going to be uploading more, I promise. Um, yes. So, and I know we can be sporadic at times, so, you know, hitting that subscribe button. Yes. Just keeping up to date whenever we upload. Um, be on the lookout for our next uh, video about general gameplay and new game modes. And that's about it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and we'll see you guys Goodbye. later. Goodbye.